Hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen, Fani Nodia here and welcome to another one of my videos. Today we are talking about accountants recovery plan for after the lockdown. So today we want to ask the question, you know, what are we going to do after this lockdown? Because everybody now is quickly sorting out all their clients, all their requests for the UIF and all the grants and everything that's going to be uh, applicable for small businesses and everybody that's getting some help. And I know all the accountants at the moment is struggling quite hard to just get everything in place for their accountant or for their, for their clients at the moment. So the thing is, this is not going to last forever. So what are you going to do for the rest of the lockdown and what are you going to do for after the lockdown? Because every single business out there does need a strategy for how to recover after this lockdown. Meaning, basically, after this lockdown, you're going to be thrown into the deep end or you're basically going to run around like a headless chicken if you didn't have a plan in place. Because at the moment, everybody is losing revenue. Everybody is losing clients. Small businesses are closing at the moment. We are hearing it on a daily basis of small businesses that is closing their doors. That means it's going to affect everybody because those small businesses was clients of somebody they paid somebody's bills means the entire economy is going into a spiral so we need a plan to recover for our practices basically so today i want to basically talk about what i would have done if i was an accountant at this stage and what my sort of strategy would be after this lockdown so the first thing is there's two things that i want to um, do is i want to recover some lost revenue and I want to be, let's say, scaling up my um, my current clients by doing this or either just getting new clients. Now, I know everybody is going to struggle after this lockdown and getting new clients is going to be hard. But don't let that discourage you because there's still going to be clients out there that you can get. But the thing that I think the most important is, is going to be to keep your current clients afloat, meaning helping them through this couple of months that's coming now because it's going to be some tough times and they're really going to need some guidance from your end. So there's two things that I would be focusing on right now if I was creating my plan to recover after this lockdown. And that's the first thing is I'm going to implement organic marketing. That is going to reduce my risk by like a lot because it's not going to be spending money on advertising it's just going to get clients organically without spending money because at the moment everybody's unsure don't really want to spend some money so it's really a big risk to go forward and just implement an entire marketing strategy now in throwing money at the situation because you're thinking about well what if something happens and I need some cash on hand so maybe marketing or advertising paid marketing is not the right option at this moment so I would be implementing some organic marketing and if you're thinking well I don't know what organic marketing is, is we're probably going to do a video in the next couple of weeks about breaking that down exactly but organic marketing is just a fancy way of saying marketing that doesn't cost you any sort of money so that you can get clients in without spending money to get those clients now the next thing and the most important thing that i would be focusing on is scaling up my current clients because at this moment everybody needs guidance everybody needs a way to recover from this and this is where accountants can play the bedrock or the you know basically the rock everybody stands on or leans on so basically you want to help your clients your small businesses through this time you want to help them with their strategies help them with their financial planning help them with everything financial orientated or business orientated that you can keep them afloat so this means i would be going after scaling my current clients by implementing some financial consulting. So this is just an easy way to get into your, your, your clients' businesses and helping them to survive through this time. It's not only going to increase your revenue, it's basically going to increase the probability that they're going to survive. So this is not just a money-making idea, just, okay, let's do some financial consulting, upsell my current clients, and they're going to give me more money. No, this is a take. So you want to have a three to one return on investment. So if they're going to pay you a thousand rand to do financial consulting, you should at least bring them in an extra three thousand rand just so that they can survive. So this is not basically getting the last few cents from your clients. No, this is helping them to survive. 
And I'm also talking here not about your clients that, you, your, your clients that you're currently doing this with because a lot of accountants are offering advisory services. That's what I'm not talking about. I'm talking about the clients that you're only doing the accounting for or only doing the payroll, only doing you know, financial statements once a year. You know, call those clients, ask them, are you struggling through this time? Is this something that we can help? Can we sit down? Or can we have a quick uh, Zoom chat? We can't have a sit down now. But can we have a quick chat to see, is there a possible way for us to help you through this tough time? Because at this moment, they really need help. And this is where accountants can really benefit from this by keeping their current clients afloat and not letting them ch <laughs> close their doors. Because every single day, more and more small businesses are closing their doors. And we do not want this. We want to go into their businesses and really try and help them strategize by how they can possibly get through this tough time. So... That's the two main things that I would be focusing on. So if you don't know how to do financial consulting, you don't know how to structure, you've never done this before, well, we're probably going to do a video like breaking down the entire process of how you can implement this and do this by yourself also on this channel. But otherwise, you know, you can always contact me, send me an email, schedule a call with us, and we can go through, go through the steps with you to show you how exactly we can, how you can implement this for your practice as well. But at this moment, that is the two main things that I would be focusing on. So, you no, know, think about this. You're probably still busy with your current lines, going through everything. But in the last two weeks, you're probably going to go not so busy, have more time on your hands, you really want to start implementing or thinking about the strategy that you're going to follow that you're not thrown into the deep end when this lockdown ends. Remember, this lockdown is going to end and it's going to be chaos after this lockdown and you need to have a specific plan at how you're going to navigate everything in that specific time. So I really hope this gave you some food for thought for the coming coming weeks in the lockdown. Everybody stay safe. Thank you for tuning in and listening to me. Otherwise, enjoy your week and you know we're all in this together. So let's try and help each other out. So thank you everybody. Enjoy the rest of your week.